Okay, so let's take a look at how you can create issue tracker in Glide app. So there are multiple ways to approach issue tracker. You can have the template, you can have some of the existing apps already built. You can just clone them and create something like that. But let's say you have your own issues to track, right? So for your company, organization, small business, you have your own issues, something that you wish to track there, right? So in this case, what I will do is I will open Excel and if I open that Excel, then I will be creating a table with a list of columns that I will be making use of. So issue number, then type priority, then open date, right? So issue number to identify issue, then type of issue like bug, feature requests etc we will have that right then comes the priority and then open and close date right so we'll have that in order so next thing would be making use of let's see option of note right so this is simple table we have let's say issue is i001 then type is bug crash mobile app right open date let's say 11th march closed on 17th march right the notes bug closed right then let's have another entry 002 feature then here updating css right then it was done on 12th march and the it was closed on 21st March new CSS right so like this we have our issue tracker and I wish to turn this into a glide app so I will save this in a format that glide apps can read so let's say I will use open document spreadsheet and use issue as its name right so save this once saved we can close this and then go to our glide apps so here i'll be adding some of the users from my team and let them also test it so that you will be able to experience multi-user app within the glide right so first thing would be to starting from option of creating new project so here you see the option of creating new project i will name this issue tracker so this is highly personal if you want something specific for your own company you may either have to create your own or you can come up with your own data in excel and then import it here that also works now within select source option you can see i can import ods file so issue dot ods you are importing your file so like this we have like three different tables so first being our issue table then users table right then if you want to add additional then it will also be formed as third table so right and then it will appear on the top as one of the options so issue and then users you can add new users by going to navigation and then explore the users right and here you see the issues within our issue tracker so i will just name this as issue as this label right so currently this is in card view i can turn that into grid or maybe table whichever one fits for your use case you can choose that i will choose list so that it looks good i can explain my bug or feature and as you can see the main title being the issue number you want to switch that to say type that also work then within description you can add the number or priority or you want to add something like open close date notes right so that also looks good i can also add a new entry and here issue number i003 then type which is bug feature then enhancement 
priority you can add right so let's say i add a high open date 11th march close date 19th june right notes enhancement on database side so if i submit this you can see that you will have your issues listed like this right and when you click on it it will show you the issue number then it is enhancement priority open date close date and notes right so we managed to pretty much create the issue tracker as required and it is done in client apps i can now publish it on the platform of my choice